It's Madden NFL 24, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Chargers. All that and more coming up next. It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016, and now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Today we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the L.A. Chargers. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when their body's on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield. Throwing first play is Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he'll get this up to the 34 yard line. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You gotta know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and 10, Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards is the pickup there and a charger first down. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's now locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. On first down, Justin Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? Yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. What a methodical drive. This is turning out to be that time nine yards, and the sticks move again. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Herbert back to the air. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler, a 14-yard touchdown. 
And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, ruling on the field stays. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. That time, a six play drive. And Austin Eckler capped it off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by their quarterback at 6-2 out of Auburn. It's Jared Stidham. For a brief time, he was thought to be a possible successor to Tom Brady while he was still in New England, but that didn't materialize. But opportunity may still knock for him to start in the NFL today. Definitely has the arm and mobility to make plays against NFL defenses. All he needs now is consistency. First down, Stidham. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And Sutton will have a Broncos first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Stidham sets to throw on first. And incomplete on the deep ball. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. To throw is Stidham. Throw left side complete. That's Sutton. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 
A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They go play action now. Stidham into the hands of Patrick left side. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They go play action with Stidham. And this is incomplete. Six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Now Stidham, off play action. And it's caught. Touchdown! Jerry Judy from 21 yards away. And the Broncos are an extra point away from evening this one up. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a nine-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Justin Herbert and the rest of the Charger offense set to take over once more. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. 6-6, six six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw 7-on-7, seven seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Here's Herbert. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Herbert. Slant route going to be caught by Palmer. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And Marvin Mims deep for Denver. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The offense is always trying to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Now a second and ten. Stidham going back to the air. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have the show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports halftime We thought this one would report. be a close battle Here's coming Jonathan in, Coachman. and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now Stidham on first down. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. That sack by Khalil Mack. And when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. On second down, Williams. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 
I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Stidham, third down from the gun. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Returnable here for Davis. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles, gain some additional yardage. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Once more, here's Eckler. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. Well, they're hoping the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here now a third down and eight. Back to throw here, Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, LA! Quentin Johnston. 58 yards, and the Chargers have taken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They begin the drive with Williams. 
And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Here's Stidham to throw. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. Taken down at the 42. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and eight. Play action. It's Stidham. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Now Stidham. Finding Williams once more complete. And he will have a Broncos first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Stidham's throw taken in here by Patrick. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. They'll throw on first down with Stidham. Open man downfield is Judy. He's got it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pickup there, 26 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, it's Stidham. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. 
From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. This is first and ten. Now it's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two minute warning. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. A little short pass. This is Everett. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. Here comes second down. Throwing Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Up the middle with Eckler. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. They'll come up now on second down. It's Eckler again. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Eckler now between the tackles. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now first and goal. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Another shot from the one on second and goal. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So a pressure kick there by the young man, and that should be enough to finish this one off. Well, he's a second-year guy now, so he says, don't call me a rookie anymore. And I tell you, he's got a bright future in this league. And kicks like that are going to make sure he sticks around for a good long while. Here's
is Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Stedham with one final shot. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis.